Praise the Lord. I've been watching the news on Obama and the meeting with Turkey and some of the questions that were asked to him. My question to you, the people of the United States, especially the ones that re-elected Obama, Do you trust the IRS? Do you trust the president? Hmm. Well, let me say. One, as for me, no. I don't trust them. Our president has lied to us more times than one. And I love the way he does it. He goes, as for me, I didn't know until I heard it over the news. My goodness. We have a president sitting up there and he don't know nothing, nothing until he hears it on the news. That night, that our ambassador and the men died over there in Libya, he didn't know what was going on, but yet, there's proof that he was in the White House at the time it was going on, because this thing went on for nine hours, people. It just didn't happen in a few short minutes. It, it was done, it was over with, and you know, the fight went on for uh, around nine hours and he didn't know hmm what was Hillary Clinton doing when she's watching this go down what was the vice president doing when he was watching it go down you mean you haven't got sense enough to pick up a phone and go Mr. President we really have a bad situation here going on we have a problem going on. You know they called. They're not stupid. That's how they're supposed to have got to be what they are in the White House. They're supposed to be intelligent people. I begin to think that the least amount of intelligence here in America is in the White House. And I don't say anything about this because his skin is black. He's supposed to be our president, people. Come on here. Doesn't matter about the color. It matters that he is supposed to be intelligent enough to win the hearts of the people to get voted in and made a whole slew of promises that lied, lied, and lied, and lied. He's not the only one. There's many presidents that have come up with all sorts of promises. And once they got to be president, they didn't do a darn thing. He's not the only one. But the only one I care about right now is here. In 2013, who is our president? Um, honestly... I think he's the most ignorantest president that we've had in a long time. And we've had others. And the IRS. Oh, my word. You know what? Everyone here in the United States is under the thumb of the IRS. They can control your life to the utmost. And if you don't do what they say, and if you don't pay your taxes, and you if you don't abide by their laws, guess what they can do? They can come and take your home, your cars, your check from your job, and furthermore, they can put you in handcuffs and put you in prison. So what should we do? with these people that have broken the law in the IRS and used their enormous 
ability to, to control people's lies to do things to people during a, a, an election. Excuse me. IRS is none of your darn business who I vote for. And you should not be getting into my personal business to try to persuade me not to vote for the other man. You should be out there just doing your job collecting taxes. Period. Period. I think every one of these, and if it has to be all the way up to the White House, should have a criminal prosecution upon them and you know if I'm capable of going to prison if I don't do what I should do according to the IRS then they should go to prison you know if some of these people that have broken the law the very law that our Constitution has stated then they need to go to prison they don't need to have a pat on the head and lose their job and, and go away, you know. They need to be put in prison. Convicted. By trial. And don't tell me the president didn't know. Again, he learns it from the news people. And then they get all hy hyperventilated because leaks come out. And, and then they go after the news media if they happen to mention one thing that is not nice to Obama and his administration. And they go after the news media. They, keep, they, they tap into their phone records. I mean, have they ever heard the freedom of press? The freedom of speech? No, I don't think so. I don't think they've heard about it. I don't think Congress and some of the people up there know that they need to do a strict investigation. I don't care how high it goes. If it goes all the way to the White House, so be it. They need to be put on trial. Just as I would be put on trial if I did something that I shouldn't do. If I didn't pay my income tax, I could be go to court and be put on trial and lose everything I have. No, I do not trust the IRS. They have they have their thumbs on top of all of us, businesses all the way down to the lowliest person. They can control our lives and push us around like big bullies in the federal government. And the president didn't know. You know, this man was so interested in getting reelected. He didn't even know what the IRS was doing when it was his group that promoted that this happened. And somehow or another, when everything happens, they try to blame it on the Republicans. Oh my goodness, get over that. Get over it. Grow up. And put our country in the forefront. Put our country before your own needs, before your own desires you that are voted in office, or get out of office. Men died over in Libya because some woman sat there and refused to get them help and refused to add more people over there to help these men not die. When should one... What, when should authority be placed on one woman's shoulder, whatever her name was, um, that she could go, no, you've got enough over there. When they were saying, something's going on. Something. 
We've already been attacked. We don't have enough people to help us. And now all of a sudden the president said, oh, you know, we made a big boo-boo and we need to get that all straightened up and get it where we can get troops really handy. When over there in Cyprus was a whole standby that could have come over and helped those men. Do you people understand those men that died over there could have been our husbands? And our sons. We put our people in harm's way. And we don't do. And don't insist. That they be protected. We have many. Officers that's over there. That is doing the work. Of our country to protect us. To protect us. And if we can't not help them, if they're in a crisis and there's not enough men around to protect, and those men have to die fighting to preserve and protect our ambassador, our, our, our officers that are working to help us, there's something wrong here. There's something wrong here. No wonder so many countries cannot stand America. I mean, really. I mean, think about it. They think that we're idiots over here. Governed by a president that is a total idiot. They think that. He needs to keep his focus on being the president of the United States and not trying to make a show for himself. I mean, you know, his reputation really is already a run overseas and here. Now, maybe if he would change his attitude and change his way of thinking and putting us Americans first, over his thoughts, over his religious beliefs, over his ideals, and start putting the Constitution of the United States first, that's who we were, where we were founded on, people. And not let this overbloated IRS run amok and doing whatever they want to do to the people of America. I am an American and I am glad to be one. I have family mem members that fought in each war. I have friends that have fought and some have died over in Vietnam. <sighs> and we see when we America stand up like the gun bill, it didn't pass. We said, we stood as one and said, no, you're not going to dismantle the Constitution of the United States and take our guns away. It's part of the Constitution. Now, I will say to the news people, if you come across some information that could affect the safety of our men and women that's overseas, doing something that our government has asked them to do. And if you put it public, it could cost them their life. Then you need to look at what you're looking at. 
you need to examine it thoroughly and say, well, right now, we need to put this on the shelf and not bring it f forth because it could do more harm than good. There's always a time that you could bring this incident forward after these people are out of harm's way. I, I, I'm just saying, America, we have to get together and stand together. We need to back our armed forces. We need to tell the president, before you say stand down on something that's going on, you need to step up to bat and get people to help them, which you could have. They were there in Cyprus. Only a jump away from Libya. I mean, just, just really close. And you lie and said there was no help. There is. Was. I mean, you sit up there on your mighty throne and you think we're all ignorant. That we don't do research. We don't look and find out. When sometimes you speak, it's just a flat lie spilling from your mouth. I don't believe you or trust you anymore at all. I didn't really believe you or hardly trust you at all, but I kept thinking, all right, the people of the United States voted him in. And I was greatly disappointed the second time because... We voted him back in. Now, could have Romney been the best president? I don't know. But it didn't matter if he was Mormon or not. It mattered whether he could have done what he was saying. <coughs> but President Obama went out with his cohorts to do everything to build, disqualify this man. God help America. Really, God help America. Because judgment is, has already come upon America and it's getting worse because we have a president that really don't care about anything but his own goals and pleasing people. Why is he for innocent blood being spilt from babies being aborted? That makes him popular. Yep. Don't tell me it don't. It does. How about the gay crowd? And him pushing for gay marriages. Why does he do that? When the Muslims themselves will kill you if you're homosexual. They don't tolerate it. They say it's nasty. But yet him being a Muslim stands for the homosexual. Against his own beliefs. Against an organization, a religious type organization, that will kill homosexuals. They don't tolerate them. But he will, and back them, because it keeps him popular. Well, Mr. President, you're already voted in, and you no longer... You no longer have to worry about being voted in again. Straighten up. And start doing for America what is good for America. And you know what? You need to put some muzzles on some of your people in our IRS and other people that you have appointed to help you in the government task 
You need to put some muzzles on them and rein them in. You know, even a horse will put a bit in its mouth so we can control it, or it, how it turns, whether to stop, whether to go. And you just gave them free reign to do whatever they want to do. And when they do things that are totally against and harmful to America, they need to be put in prison. If we can, if you can, if they can prove that Hillary Clinton knew about this and didn't do anything to stop it, and this other woman that kn knew that they were asking her for help and didn't stop it, then they need to be put on trial, convicted, and put in prison. Oh! <gasps> Oh, did I say here literally Clinton needs to be put in prison? Well, four guys are dead in the most hideous way. And she said she takes the blame. Well, if she takes the blame, then she needs to be convicted and put in prison. Four men are dead. And she says, why are we going back over this old thing again? It's done and over with. Blah, 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 blah. If her lips are moving, it's blah. In my point of view. And she needs to be prosecuted. The other woman needs to be prosecuted. Any of the generals or things, the big shots that could have stopped this knows about it. They need to be called up on the carpet and find out why. And the person that said stand down, whether it's the president, vice president, Hillary Clinton, or an officer, they need to be held accountable for these four men's deaths. And the IRS... They need to be held accountable and be prosecuted and be put in prison. I'm calling for prison time for the, all of these people. You know what? If we start putting, holding the, making them be held accountable and putting them in prison, then people will go, oh, I've got to get in there and do my job right because if I don't, the American people will have me prosecuted and I'll be serving the rest of my time rest of my life in prison I am no better than they are so if they can be put in prison then I'm going to go to prison too for my misdeeds and for causing people's lives you may say Barbara are you angry yeah I am I am angry. I am angry with our our government that is throwing us to the wolves and letting the wolves devour us, chew us up without any any precaution to stop it. So Okay, maybe I'll feel better now. I've said my rant. I said my little thing about what I feel should be done. Will they listen to me? Probably not. Who am I? I'm one of the little peons out here that don't mean anything. Okay? But I am a Democrat. I'm a registered Democrat. So I'm telling you, as a Democrat, straighten up. Straighten up. And hold these people accountable for what they did. 
You may be in love with Hillary Clinton so bad that you know, oh no, we can't do that to her. Bull. Those that say that, don't, just stop paying your income tax to see what they'll do to you. You'll go to jail. Oh yeah, you will. If you go out and break the law and you cause somebody's death, you'll be held in a court of law and you may go to prison. Hmm. Oh yeah. And I, so far, I blame Hillary Clinton. I blame this lady. I can't, don't know her name, but anyway. And President Obama and our Vice President. These are the four people that I hold responsible for what happened over in Libya with those four men dying. Now, I can't name off all the names about the IRS that I would hold, but the upper echelons that knew about this. And I hold the president responsible, and he needs to be put on trial, too, for both of these actions. And saying that you learn it from the news? Oh, my God. You must never read any of your reports. You must never, ever look into anything. I mean, this thing with the IRS went on for a whole two years. Can't tell me you didn't know. There wasn't someone that whispered into your, Mr. President, oh my goodness, guess what the IRS is doing. And I could just see you turn around look at him and go, Okay. Shh, I didn't hear that. I didn't know that. So, okay, I'm going to end this video. Some will like it, some won't. I don't care. You know what? I really don't care. You like it, you dislike it. This is what I'm thinking. This is how I'm feeling. And I, as a United States citizen, born here in the United States of America with the ability to free speech I said it I said what I felt I said what I thought freedom of speech people isn't it glorious thank you for listening to my rant thank you